Today, we're gonna make these cool record crates out of solid walnut. It's got these dovetail corners and the crates are removable from the base so you can DJ that next party. Stick around, cause we're gonna have fun. Today's video is sponsored by Rockler Woodworking and Hardware. Create with confidence. To get this started, I have some walnut that I got from rockler.com and we're gonna glue them up for the front and side panels. So here we go. Got some little spring clamps here on the edge to keep the, keep the boards nice and aligned. Oh yeah, I'm gonna write the time down here because I always find myself asking Eric, hey, what time did we glue that up? Eric doesn't know. <laughs> That's what you get for not knowing, mother Now that the boards have had a chance to dry, I'm gonna scrape off the glue here. And then we're gonna sand it down. We did a pretty good job of keeping the boards nice and even, so there shouldn't be too much. Now we're gonna glue up the three boards that will make the bottom of the base. Getting some good squeeze out all down the line. So now that the boards are dry, I'm going to rip them to width and then cross cut them all to length. I've done a couple tests with the dovetail router jig, so I have that all set up. The most important thing to remember when using a dovetail router jig is you need to mark all your pieces. You need to know what's going to be the front and back and the sides. I've also marked the arrow up and I got right and left and I've got each one of my corners numbered. This is corner number one, number two, number three, and number four. And I did that on the second box as well. It's very important that you label everything. As long as everything is labeled, you can't mess it up. Once that jig is set up, you're good to go. So let's head on over there and start cutting these dovetails. So the next thing we need to do is write a groove on all the pieces to hold the bottom. I got a straight flute bit mounted in my router table here and on the side pieces we're going to go all the way through and on the front and back pieces we'll have to come down on the bit and then have a stop and then come back up this way. That way the groove doesn't show through on the final piece. So before we do any assembly, I'm going to take the front and back panels and make a little hole for our hands. To do so, I'm gonna use a big Forstner bit, drill two holes, then take a jigsaw and connect them. All right, so now I'm gonna take the half inch thick bottom piece and cut it to size. All right, time to glue these guys up.
Next, we're gonna cut the bases to size over here in the table saw. And then we're gonna install the dado stack and put a rabbit along all the edges so the crates will fit nice and snug in there. And the crates will then be removable and you can move them around if you want to. And then, uh, then after that, we'll install some legs on the bottom. So here we go. So I just got done sanding everything and I'm gonna add one more element that I wasn't planning on. I can see down here where the, where the crate meets the base. I wanna create a little shadow line along the bottom. To do that, I'm gonna take a chamfer bit in my router and make a little chamfer all the way around the bottom. And that should give us a cool little black line, a little black shadow all the way around. Looks like it's floating on there. Loving it. Let's get some legs installed on here and then put a couple coats of tongue oil on. I got these hairpin legs from Rockler. I have it temporarily taped down here so I can flip it over, put the crate on there to see if I like the placement, which I do. I'm gonna pre-drill the holes here. You'll notice that I do have them inset on the bottom here because there's not enough material where this, where the rabbit is. There we go. And of course, I'm gonna take them right back off to put finish on them. I got this tongue oil from Rockler that I'm gonna put on here. This is the moment right here. It's the big reveal. I love this part. You ready to see it on these dovetails? Watch this. I don't know that you're ready for this. Oh. For this first coat, I did thin it down with mineral spirits. On the second coat, we'll do a full 100% tongue oil on here. I do have to let this dry for 24 hours. I'd like to thank Jonathan, J. Katz, Moses, and Nathan Bird for being my top Patreon supporters. If you want to find out how you can become part of the Make Something team, visit patreon.com slash pachudo. I will have plans for these record crates on my website, so go check that out at makesomething.tv. I would like to thank Rockler for their continued support. Nearly all the materials for this build came from rockler.com. That includes the solid walnut, the legs, the dovetail jig, the router and the clamps used in this project. So visit rockler.com for all your woodworking needs. Really cool, super, super happy with the way it came out. Like the fit on there is perfect. There's just enough looseness for it to expand and contract. Something I do wanna point out, the bottom of this crate, the that bottom, is not glued in. That's free floating and there's room for that to expand and contract. Usually I use plywood bottoms for my boxes and you don't have to worry about that expansion, but this is all solid wood and so there is going to be some expansion and you don't want that bottom to expand and then blow out your corners here. Like I mentioned before, I will have plans for these crates on my website at makesomething.tv. Thank you guys for watching. I put out videos almost every Tuesday and Thursday. This one came out a little bit late, Sorry about that. Sometimes life gets in the way. So please subscribe to keep up with what we're doing over here. As always, have fun and make something. <laughs>